Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to use XLife Airport Editor to create traffic. Now, because there are so many airports and uh, each airport has a different configuration, uh, I'm just going to show you how I do these things for um, Punta Cana Airport. Uh, and then, based on what you see here, you will apply those... Uh, let's say, rules uh, or steps that we have to follow in order for X-Life to work properly for uh, on any airport. I'm just going to bring the browser here. Obviously, you need to uh, have the deluxe version of X-Life. Uh, the free version will not allow you to do that. So if you scroll down, you get the deluxe uh, version it's twenty dollars once you install it then you need to get an airport now to be able to use the xlife airport editor you have to have that particular airport that you want to design your traffic into your custom scenery so this is the xplane scenery gateway where let's say you cannot find the airport that you want to design it's not available to purchase or a free version then you can download it from here uh, now to do that you're gonna have to go to search airport here you're gonna enter the airport that you want to do in my case I'm gonna do uh, a demonstration on Punta Cana International Airport and that will be MDPC. And then you just gotta wait a little bit, and then there you go, Punta Cana International Airport. Now, I recommend you to get the latest version. See, usually the latest one, it's on top. And make sure it is approved. That means this was checked and it was approved by Xplane 11 team or 10. All right, so you're just going to click download. And once you download the file, I'm going to just drag it in on the desktop. I'm going to zip it. I'm sorry, we're going to unzip it. And then you have the uh, airport. Now, also, what you need to have in handy um, the chart. So, so basically, and the PC chart. You can go on Google and search for it. Uh, usually, I get the uh, PDF file. Uh, what do you need? You need the communication information. You uh, you need this to enter, and then also you need the the airport diagram, which will be somewhere around here. So this is. Uh, the taxiways and these are the gates and the stands. I have Navigraph so I'm gonna use uh, they have the latest uh, versions now this is a pay version um, it's a membership so I do have that so I'm gonna take the information from here I'm gonna move this to my second screen and have it on all the time now once you unzip this folder you can go ahead and rename it, but make sure you leave the ICO name on that. So in this case, it's MDPC. And then we're just going to, I'm just going to uh, add the line and then Punta Cana International. All right. And once you have this done, now you just have to go to your explain folder custom scenery and just drop it in there after you're done with that you can just go ahead and let's go inside explain okay i'm gonna click on new flight uh, now i already have the airport here but from here you know you just search for your airport customize you can you don't have to, you can skip these steps. Um, usually I 
always start somewhere on the side it really doesn't matter where now I recommend you to uh, set the weather manually and erase just have a clear sky and then the time like I set mine to like nine o'clock you don't wanna start designing the traffic in the dark do you alright so just gonna go inside X-Plane and we can start designing the traffic okay just gonna go outside the aircraft now when you press letter C on your keyboard now we set the free camera we can move around turn around uh, or you can just come here to view change external and then free camera all right so to move around hold the right click mouse you can look around up down left and right and with comma and dot you go back and for forward now holding shift and uh, comma and, and dot will move you faster now some of the airports will will come with with a traffic pattern already in uh, see this one it does have one uh, but most likely they're done in world editor and then xlife uh, airport editor will be a little bit more picky so we have to follow some steps um, in order for uh, air, uh, X Life traffic to work properly, uh, so if you go in uh, into uh, Airport Editor, uh, now you will notice the taxi lines and the runways. And um, like I was expecting, this was done in World Editor, and there are uh, things that um, basically you just have to fix. Uh, based on what I'm going to show you in this video, you just come back here and uh, fix the way I'll, I, I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, now, there's one thing. If you save right now the file, see, there's a lot of question marks. Um, but if the airport has a ground traffic set, it will recognize those as mistakes see all these question marks right here on the side this is a ground traffic it has nothing to do with uh, X life but what you can do once you save this uh, just close the uh, editor and then after you save it so you save it first close it and then open it again so now what it did it saved the file just for the ground traffic so now if you click save again, it would not show you those question marks for the ground traffic. It's only going to show you the, the question marks, the mistakes, and the, the things that you have to fix uh, uh, for the uh, X-Life uh, traffic. All right. So now we're going to go to Plugins, X-Life, Tools, Airport, Editor. Now, my, it looks like it might got stuck, but it's not. It's loading. Just be patient. It will uh, start after it loads. And there you go. Now we are inside the editor. Now, as you can see, there are, there are a couple of airplanes here. Uh, this information, it is, uh, it, it's getting from... Uh, the folder that we just installed um, now these airplanes you know they're kind of big so when we are going to design the uh, uh, taxi lines and the gates this will be kind of these airplanes will look kind of big so what I do this is only if you want I just click on gate and then I'm just clicking on on the names I'm not gonna uh, delete them I'm just gonna leave them there this will uh, save me some time um, so I'm just gonna highlight every single one what I'm gonna do I'm gonna change this aircraft to a smaller aircraft it will be more easier for me to work
All right, those are small enough so I'm gonna just click on A and then should enough all the aircraft change to A so now what you need to do is just select none click on select none and now everything it's unchecked and then we can go back to lines all right first things first you can go to runways and make sure all the squares are checked uh, this is the information that again it takes it from the the folder from dot dat file uh, just make sure the cones is cones you know they are set where the runway is usually they are if you get an, an airport that it's approved then this should be just perfect all right so now we have you know we check the runways we have the runway set if you don't want any traffic to a specific runway you can uncheck them from here and then check them whatever but I keep you know I want traffic on both ends on both uh, runways okay so next obviously when you go to radio now you check the charts and make sure you have the latest information and you can change the radios to do that you just highlight enter the new frequency and then you're done uh, there is no enter you don't have to press enter once you do that there is a save button but we're not going to use it because if you press the save button then uh, it's going to show you a lot of question marks now because nothing is connected to the gates and, and that's why we're going to leave it like that okay so let's go to lines and start doing so I always start with the runway um, so what we're gonna do we're gonna press on start drawing and then what it says name we're gonna enter the numbers the runway numbers which in this case is 08 slash forward the other end it's 26 now remember I got the uh, the diagram on the right screen so I'm I'm reading uh, the informations from there uh, I always you can name it the other way around if you want uh, 26 slash 408 I always start with the lower number okay so now what we need to do is just with the left click I'm gonna click on the runway in the middle so now we add a point now this is what we're gonna do we're gonna do a straight line all the way to the to the end and because once we add another point it will connect the two the two points that we add automatically so that's how we're gonna do a straight line all right so but there is another thing every single exit entrance uh, it's, if it's a cross of the uh, uh, taxiway or, or, or another runway we need to add a point all right so see as you can see let me move this on the side now there's a line connected to the other point so we add a point here then next one will be over here this is a, a taxiway I think this is an actually an exit so I'm gonna add a point right in the middle we can modify this we can move it around if we want after that so it, it really doesn't matter right now where you add the point just try to you know add it like somewhere in the middle I'm gonna add the point here and then one in the end of the runway all right so now we have the runway runway 0826 we're gonna click on stop drawing now what we need to do what it says 0826 on each line we're gonna click on that everything it's left click click on the other one we're gonna highlight the lines and I think it's gonna be one more here in the end and then we're gonna click on mark runway right here alright so now we have as you can see the line change it to red and now we have 
the runway 0826 let's go ahead so this is how you're gonna do for runways that has uh, a taxiway or an exit like this or on the other end it was just one uh, this one did have a turning pad but it's no need to do that uh, I mean we do have another taxiway right there so and this is how you set the runway for this kind of I mean this is how you set for this kind of runway where both ends has a taxi uh, a taxi line all right let's do runway 09 and 27 so pretty much the same start drawing I'm gonna change the name on 09 slash 27 now runway 9 you will still name it 09 uh, make sure it is two digits all right so here I'm gonna add a point right where the line the taxi line is crossing all right and just gonna go to the next junction I'm gonna add the point right about there this is nothing it's not in use we don't have to add anything there one right here it's gonna be another junction right here in the middle and then now this runway has a turning pad so here this is how we're gonna do this runway here I'm gonna add the point here now some of them they're gonna have a, a taxi line here uh, this one it doesn't have it so we have to uh, do it kind of by eye so I'm gonna do one there one there and then one here all right stop drawing so this is you this is how you set up a runway when it has a turning pad now like I said you can modify this you can uh, move things around now you can always come back here and uh, move the points around uh, to move a point you just click and hold left click and then you can drag it and move them around uh, just watch you know like how the traffic's uh, in the end you're gonna see what I'm talking about how the airplanes turn if they turn too early or too late then you can always modify this all right so here I'm gonna again select all these lines by clicking on the name of the line let's see let's do it on the move there you go there you go and that was the last one so now like the other runway we're gonna click on make runway all right so this is how you set up the runways now keep in mind if two run runways are crossing each other you need to add a point in the middle so you can connect the two runways crossing all right so that's that's how you set up the runways so now we're gonna go ahead and do the taxiways I'm gonna start again from from this side uh, so checking the uh, diagram so this will be E so basically it's the same thing when you do the taxiway you're gonna start drawing and then you can change the names make sure you have the caps locks on and then we just enter E now here's the thing every single holding line has to have a point you will uh, understand just in a little bit so this is where we're gonna start I'm gonna start from the holding line now this curve it's kind of uh, a big curve so here I'm just gonna add maybe two points here so we can make the curve uh, it doesn't matter now how they look we, we are gonna come back later and fix this so I'm gonna add another point kind of over here uh, so we can connect this uh, taxiway and then the next one will be by this holding line this is the holding line for a runway 09 so here actually we can connect add another point right there and then this one will connect it to the runway so we can stop drawing now 
and then to connect the two points you can highlight the two points by clicking on them and then just click connect now when you do that make sure see it says no name uh, make sure you change the name into this will be taxiway E and then just click rename so make sure you have that one set so now we can kind of fix the lines a little bit uh, it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be perfect on the taxi line you can move this around you can move even the taxi a little bit so see situations like this if you, if if a curve it's kind of like too big um, if we want we can add another point but I think this is just good it doesn't have to be on the line so let me show you something because chart design they recommend you to not to use uh, a lot of uh, points like here like let's say you just come here and then you just do it like this now they they don't want you to do that because adding a lot of points will make the file really big and then because they upload these files to their servers every time you start xlife this file will be uploaded to every single one that comes in X it has X life and comes online will download this automatically to their uh, computer so that's why they want to keep this file really small I mean it's gonna be a lot of points by the uh, by the gates so they just want especially here at at the taxiway to keep it kind of simple now if you have to like in this case you know like there is no way I can connect with one uh, this curve it's kind of big so there is no way to connect them so here I added another point but that's fine and then here see there is a taxi line it goes this way but that's okay you know we're not gonna add we're gonna just add a, a point right here to the taxi line I mean uh, holding line and then we're just gonna connect that one with that connect and this one will be P1 so I'm gonna rename it P1 alright and then we can come here and let's see maybe we can move this one just about that don't worry the AIs will not come and do a 90 degrees curve they will turn a little bit earlier so it's anyway you don't see this line so uh, and then here it's fine if let's say the aircraft has to make a left turn it will make a left turn it might come a little bit like here and then make the left turn but it's fine I mean it's not like it's gonna get to the grass or, or something it's plenty of room here to turn all right why do you need to add a point to the holding line well there is a reason and this is really important so when you connect the points from the holding line to the runway this lines here okay let's name that one P1 let's just name this one P1 and this one will be E so this lines from the holding line to the runway we're gonna uh, highlight them they have to be marked as mark hold area so we're gonna click on that button as you can see now uh, it became orange and that's how they have to be this is really important even if it's an exit all this line this is mandatory from the holding line to the runway has to be marked as mark uh, holding area now this is 
an exit here. Now I will mark this as an exit. If an aircraft will land on 26, you can come all the way up here and exit on P1. Now if he wants, he can come all the way and exit on E, but when you have an exit like this one, P1, you're gonna highlight the exit, see I highlight the holding line and everything else until this taxi line and then I'm gonna click on mark one way. Now see this, this it looks like arrows, arrows See, they pointed from the taxi line to the runway, but that's not what I want. So I'm going to click on direct, and I'm, I'm going to mark them as one way from the runway to this taxi line. So now, this is an exit. If an aircraft will come and uh, taxi here, here to take off from runway 08, it, it will not make a right turn to come here to, to take off it will come here to take off. This is just an exit for aircraft that are landing on 26 and they will come make a left turn and this is one way and then they are gonna follow this taxi line. Let's go on this side. Here, now even if I have a point there, it doesn't matter, the point is just to connect the two lines. The holding line it's over here so like I said from the holding line in this case I'm gonna select both lines here and then mark them as an holding area it's really important so now we're gonna keep going so I'm gonna do the taxi E it, it just continues with E all the way so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start drawing and then name this E, I'm going to add a point to the holding area. Now also here this curve is kind of sharp so we might have to use uh, two, dot, two points to connect them. We'll uh, figure out afterwards how they're going to look. Here obviously there is an intersection, we're going to add a point. So it's basically the same thing like the runway every opening, every intersection, every cross, every we, we're gonna add a point. Here we're gonna add a point because later we, we wanna uh, have a point to connect this taxi line to, to E. Alright, so here we're gonna have a taxi line, I'm sorry, we're gonna have a point. Now here, let's see, we might have to add another point here because I mean if I add a point here and connect to this one it will be a straight line like this and that's not good so we're gonna add a point right about here alright this is not in use you don't have to add anything and then here we're gonna add the point alright stop drawing so now we have the taxi line echo E so I'm just going to say it, uh, uh, E, B, C, D because I want everybody to understand. Uh, right, so the only thing we need to do is just to connect this part to the runway, connect and make sure we change the name to this will be still E. And also mark this as a holding area. Alright, so this side it's done so basically everything now from here on it just repeats itself you just start drawing do the taxi line stop drawing and everything it's the same so I'm not gonna you know I'm gonna probably pause the video and and come back uh, after I'm done with uh, with the taxi line so just wanna see how this looks here maybe we can have them something like this that's just perfect that's a perfect line and we can maybe move this one like this yep perfect 
So I just want to show you something here. Um, I'm doing taxiway A. Um, so here, this is important because we have a gate here. We will add a point to every gate because later we are going to connect the gate to this uh, taxiway A. So just want to uh, clear that on and make sure every single one you see like in this point uh, because n1 it's over here and then 3 will be right there we will have to add a point to both of them now let's say if 3 was gonna be the same like n1 n1 then you don't need to add two points you, you can connect both of them to the same point but here it's different because it's on that side right there then we have to add another point now see this one this will be uh, so this is n2 but you have if you have a, a bigger aircraft in real life then they can use uh, n2a we're not gonna do those gates we're gonna keep it simple you don't want to complicate things you don't want to add two gates here and then you're gonna have an aircraft here and then another one will come and park in at uh, N2A and then you know they're gonna overlap each other so you don't want to do this this is just traffic uh, don't worry about it we're just gonna keep it as uh, as simple so we have a gate at N2 I'm just gonna use N2 and that's it um, now see this these two are uh, really close to each other but it's nothing we can do we are gonna add two points for each gate and same thing here and then same thing here and then every single one will have a, well I keep saying gate but it's it's a stand alright so this will connect to that line so I just wanna make sure you guys understand that too let me show you in this case I have a uh, stand number 10 with, we, we can use this point here and then this is taxiway D where we can just connect to the same point uh, no need to add another point let's click connect let's see how it looks we can move this one just a little bit on this side and then maybe that one a little bit like that uh, make sure we sit sometimes you have to move your camera uh, your angle to make sure uh, you're not really off the line all right so let's see can move this one like this you just have to play around and then we can move this one just a little a little bit like that and I think that's just perfect like that yep it's kind of straight and that's it and then we can connect number 10 to that stand now here's what I did on this uh, uh, airport I marked this one as an exit uh, this is uh, taxiway H so I marked the whole thing from here from here if, if you look at the arrows let me get close they're all on this side so the whole taxiway I marked this one as one way from this runway all the way to uh, passing this runway this is a, a narrow taxi so uh, basically the smaller aircraft they can stop and exit over here and that's why I marked an exit because the bigger aircraft will pass this line and like this they will go uh, take this taxiway which is a, a wider taxi line this is a narrow one so this one is just for the small aircraft and then also what we're gonna do we are going to mark 
let's add the points here so we also gonna mark this as an exit tool this is a holding area and then this will be G rename so also this will be an exit um, let's mark one way from the runway to the taxiway perfect so now if any aircraft will come and land on 27 even if it's a bigger aircraft they can stop they can take this exit if they pass that's okay they will go all the way to the back and exit over there now unfortunately for this ones they come here maybe a smaller aircraft again uh, could stop and, and make a right turn but I don't want any traffic going from here towards that the runways I'm gonna go ahead and start with the gates first so this will be E1 so basically what we need to do here actually we can name it E1 because we need to add a couple of points here so what we're gonna do we're gonna add a point see where the line starts to the uh, gate I'm not gonna add a point here and then you know I'll show you know it just like again at the gates you know just want to keep it simple so I'm gonna add a point to every single gate now once again I'm not following the line just add the point right there next one will be by B22 now because here because we have a curve we can add a point right there and then we'll see all right so now we just designed the E1 wing okay we can connect this to E1 now if there's no well you'll see in a little bit I was gonna okay so E1 wing uh, taxiway it's set the next thing we're just gonna add a point to every uh, gate just like that now I'm gonna stop drawing and start drawing again you don't want uh, these two dots these two points to be connected uh, we're just gonna click on start and stop start drawing at the point stop start drawing at the point stop All right so now next thing we need to connect these two lines This two, this two, and this two. So you can either name the the line like the gate number or the stand, uh, because when you fly in, uh, X Life will say taxi at Bravo Twenty Six, right? Bravo Bravo Twenty Six via let's say alpha bravo echo one and then it's gonna say again bravo 26 which is fine but if you don't want that to say bravo 26 you can just leave this this lines empty with no name so we're gonna highlight go back click uh, back arrow on your uh, keyboard and then just name it like that and so now th they're not gonna have a name now see the thing is the gates they do have the the, the number see B26 we're still doing the taxi lines we're not that uh, we're not doing the gates we're, we're coming back to the gates. so basically that's what you have to do for every single one now let's go to a different airport uh, for Airports that don't have the taxi lines on the ground for you to follow, then you have to come up with uh, something. See, I have this line that goes to the stand there, and then what I did, I connect uh, to that line uh, a different uh, taxi line for the aircraft to park at that gate, and then on the right side, 
what I did, I just made up something. Now you can always come back in here and change things uh, based on how the AIs are parked. So now the, the gates are done. The gate, the taxi line to the gate. So ba basically here is the same thing. So I'm going to stop. Uh, we're just going to add the points to every single gate and connect them to those uh, points. Now to add a gate, uh, it's simple. Just go to gate and then click on add one gate. And then it will, you know, uh, you can rename it whatever the gate number is. In this case, it's, a Z, it's a one. So we can name it one and then you just click uh, whatever the gate you know might be and then you just add one gate uh, now if you want to add more like see like here there's a lot of gates you can uh, uh, select add gates and like this now you can enter let's say this one two so we're gonna start from two but I, I mean this number changes because it already has all these gates but uh, uh, if you don't have any gates it will you know the number will increase so uh, this was one this was two so now if you uh, see like let's say this is 41 if I click here it, it will say 42 so to do the whole section here I will just add gates uh, enter one if you have no gates here then the number will go up and then it will go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, whatever uh, the name and then we just stop you know when you're done now for unfortunately for P1, P2, P3 gates then uh, you have to name them one by one um, so th this is how you add uh, more than one gate now to select the gate just click on the name where the green name is and then you select whatever type of aircraft uh, what kind of you know is it stand gate cargo hangar static or heli uh, if you select static uh, this aircraft will just stop over here and will not move uh, now taxi in taxi out will go you know through this in a little bit so this is how you uh, uh, add the gate now also uh, if you grab one, you can uh, kind of like click and hold your left click. Now you can grab the, the, the gate. Now if you, you know, it snaps to the point where you add it. And then it will also snap to the line. Will, uh, uh, but, but you can, if you grab it, uh, well actually no. If you uh, click on the name, highlight it and then click again hold the left click now you can move it around if you don't want the gate to uh, follow that uh, taxi line if let's say you want uh, the aircraft to be parked like this then you hold the uh, hold it and then you let it let it go and now the aircraft will stay like this this is how we're gonna do it to all these gates uh, now if you don't have the gates we're gonna end now these are stand, you know, let's go, all these are going to be uh, a stand, it's going to be A. Now here, you know, like as you can see, you can select uh, uh, bigger aircrafts. Uh, I will uh, maybe not pass this line, so maybe I will go up to D here. And also make sure you don't pass this uh, traffic uh, uh, ground traffic area uh, so your your back of the aircraft see th this one will be okay but then you know next one uh, it will be a really close so you don't want that so let's uh, use just a b actually a you can take it off because you know we have all these stands here and then general aer aviation will have you don't want general aviation to park here so i'll go b c and d i mean that's based on your preferences see maybe you can find from the air airport uh, uh, like what kind of aircraft will park to uh, different uh, uh, gates and you can do that so pretty much everything here will be the same and once again if i do see this one it's not bad I can add uh, E type of aircraft 
so on this one on this side yeah it just op you know just goes over a little bit but it's fine it doesn't pass here the back line so uh, I can add one like that so this again it's a stand taxi in push out let me see something I can't see the name uh, because you might have to change let's see stand gate p2 okay so that's good no that's not good sorry that's not good see we have to change the name so basically okay here make sure you change the name see it says stand gate p1 no this is a stand let's see so just use the name of the stand so we're gonna delete that and this is just p1 once you select the stand gate see like uh, uh, it will enter it uh, automatically for you so let's see we're gonna just use p1 and once I, I click on p1 on the name now if you look at that it says stand p1 doesn't say stand gate p1 so uh, we will uh, have to do to all of this like this use the stand number uh, you don't have to type stand or uh, other than this just p2 and then by selecting this uh, it will add it automatically all of these are gonna be stands all of this and then I'll come back when I get to the gates so we are on a different airport right now I just want to show you this kind of stands how how to set up this kind of stands where an aircraft will come here and there they will stop so basically we are going to add a gate here and then they will uh, uh, taxi in and then taxi out forward so I want to show you there's uh, three different stands how to set up this kind of uh, uh, stands uh, I'm not gonna do the whole thing I'm just gonna explain to you what I did and how I did it this is two ways so I'm gonna highlight them so you, so you see uh, better on the screen so this is a taxiway and it's two ways okay all these lines now when you have a stand like this okay so basically I kind of like follow the lines if an aircraft will come here to park at this gate it can make a right turn here and then just park here now when you have this kind of stands so basically you go to the gate you, you make the lines you go to the gates you add the gate right there so we have the gate uh, and then the lines this taxi lines this one this one and this one in this case they're one way as you can see you can see the arrows here they have to be marked one way now this one you know like there's obviously this one it's one way too if an aircraft will come here uh, the only way it, it can go is just this one at this stand uh, but that's different but when you have a circle like that and then they park uh, so basically this is two way this is one way going that way they're gonna stop here at the gate and then they're gonna go forward and and then go back in taxi now because here because we have three three stands right next to each other uh, what I did I marked these three lines as one way but then this one right here this is both ways because this aircraft will come and then exit through this line right here to get to this uh, taxi line so this is both ways and you know and I want that because otherwise if this will be one way going that you know like towards here then this aircraft will go overlap this one or I, I, I think it will not move so that's why this line it's two ways so like this this aircraft can exit through this through this line if another aircraft is here and then for this one right here I just mark this lines one way 
You see, that's the only way to park here. And then again, you know, this is two ways, and then this is one way, and then obviously this one's right here is just one way, because I don't want any aircraft to come uh, uh, to this stand. The, the only way to come, it's go, you know, come around. Come this way, go up here, make a left, and stop right there. If I go to the gates, so obviously you're going to select uh, the aircraft types that you want to do. And then, you know, obviously these are stands, they're not gates. But then here, when you do this kind of stands, you're going to select this one. Taxi in, taxi out, forward. This is the one you're going to select for this kind of stands. Now, this is another example of uh, uh, different kind of stands. Uh, these are the same, like taxi in, uh, taxi out, forward. Uh, so basically everything here it's one way from this point like that and coming out this way now the reason I'm showing you this is as you can see we I, I add an extra point for every exit for every exit because now this line right here it's uh, two ways so if an aircraft will come this way then I need to connect this point so it can go left or right so in this case we have the same stand taxi, in, uh, taxi out forward but here we didn't have to add another point for uh, when the aircraft uh, comes out uh, we added the point to the same one uh, so basically until here everything it's both ways you can see the arrows and then here this is one way one way one way one way and one way so the aircraft will come this way park and then come back to this point and then just uh, continue taxi so I just want to uh, show you the difference so if you have to add a point for the aircraft to exit uh, then you add a point. If not, you can connect to the same point. So this is a different setup of uh, taxi in, taxi out, forward. Uh, these are a cargo area. So basically here, up to this line, up to this point right here, everything is both ways. And then from here, this is how I designed this. Uh, now from this point to the right, now all these lines are one way going up and then one way coming to the left uh, like that see you can see the arrow all of them are like this one plus this one now on the left side will be one way this way like to the left all the way up and then to the right and then what that means this line right here this line it's one way from from up down so it's not creating any confusion and then all the aircraft will either go right or left one way and they will come back down through this line to the point and then continue taxi now the gates here I click on the gates now these are cargo so again you got the type of aircraft a name taxi in taxi out forward and then at this time we're gonna select cargo and then you have the cargo uh, area So helicopter pads, uh, pretty much the same thing. So you will need to bring a taxi line uh, to the middle of the helicopter pad. And then on the gate, the difference when you add a gate, you will uh, select helipad. Now, I am not sure about the type of helicopters. If you, if you can select A, B, C, I'm not sure if this will work. Uh, I'm not familiar with the helicopters and then also I'm not a hundred percent 
positive, you know, if it's taxi in, taxi out forward. I mean, a helicopter um, can turn. Actually, you can select uh, taxi in, taxi out, turn. So that means the helicopter would, let's say, it's going to park right here. It's going to come this way, stop right here. When it's going to uh, go and leave, it will turn either left or right and then we'll come back to the line and follow the taxi line so you can do the same thing with with an aircraft uh, the same kind of uh, gate so if I click on gate you know so this one it's a a type of aircraft it's you know I selected hangar but then I select taxi in taxi out turn so what that means is going to come here, it's going to stop, so when it's about to leave, it's going to turn either left or right. So that's another kind of uh, a stand you can have, but make sure, like I said, you have uh, enough room to the left and to the right. Alright, so we are at, uh, at the gates. So the only difference here, once again, you know, you check... Uh, the size of the aircraft make sure they don't pass these lines it's enough room on the wings uh, so basically instead of uh, selecting stand you will select gate and then make sure the name is just the gate name enter this will be taxi in push out that's perfect and everything will be the same nothing changed the only thing it's uh, it changes is the gate and then everything you don't want a, a type of aircraft at the gate uh, taxi in push out and then everything will be the same now if you have a, an airport that has static aircrafts to the gate what I will do, I will uh, just not create the gate over there. So I will leave this one uh, empty, and I'm gonna I will delete the gate too, and then just leave it the way it is, like this, because you don't want an AI to come and park here, and then will overlap uh, the existing uh, static aircraft, like in this case. So. Uh, or or like here I will just uh, erase the gate and then I will go to the lines and uh, delete this uh, taxi lines and just leave it like this so like this you will avoid overlapping the AI aircraft to a static aircraft so we pretty much done here I just want to uh, take a look and uh, just gonna show you here you know like how I set up the gates this is a C D and E type of aircraft I did not add uh, uh, B and A uh, there isn't enough B aircraft see all these yellow ones are B so just play around with with the with the gates uh, what kind of aircraft will park and uh, uh, and that's it and uh, that's how it, it's done so now what we need to do um, you can go ahead and uh, make a picture of this now you don't have to get the whole entire thing kind of just make a actually you know we will need this picture later so we can do something like this let's move this one now you can use uh, X plane I think it's shift and spacebar I think so let's see it says here somewhere um, take a screenshot shift and space yes so shift and space and then or See, I'm on Windows, uh, you can use the snipping tool, new, and then we can just highlight, oh, let's do it from the bottom, something like this. 
yep and then I'm just gonna save it on the desktop and then we're gonna name this one the same as the air, uh, airport mdpc dot jpeg okay save now we got this done all right so when you're done just gonna go ahead and click save right here now see we have a question mark here and this is where you know like the problem starts when you have a question mark and there you go I forgot to mark this line an holding line let's go to lines I'm gonna select this and mark this as holding area if I click save the question mark disappear but it's still there's another one right here and that's because there is a gate that it's not connected to anything so what I'm gonna do go to gate you're still gonna be able to uh, start from here but I'm gonna just delete this gate alright so another question mark where you can get it's like this let's say if you have this line uh, too far for taxiing forward out if you save again it will be a question mark the next thing you need to do just minimize the space save and done so I want to point something here you cannot leave a taxi line ending to a point this will give you if I save this they will give you a question mark so it's either you delete the line or you add a gate or you can just design a, a loop something like this Hold on. let me move so you can see and then and then just connect this line over there and then this one here and now if I save it it will not give me this uh, question mark so uh, all this taxi line they have to end up in into a loop they cannot uh, be left uh, just a straight line like this so I think everything looks good I hope I did all the names correctly okay this is really important the question mark will come if something is wrong with the line if you name a taxi way or a, or a runway uh, uh, if you enter a wrong name it will not give you a question mark so it's really important to pay attention on the names and everything make sure they're correctly so the next thing what to do make sure you save you can click this medicine one and then we're gonna close this and now we're gonna turn on the traffic so let's see how the traffic goes on this airport all right uh, you can go to settings here and mines are set to maximum so maximum traffic now let's see we do have airplanes parked at the gates everywhere just pick up a spot I mean you can move around uh, what I will do I will uh, click hold control on your keyboard and press T that will speed up the simulator uh, twice and you can do it up to four times so you're gonna do like another T T T like four times if your unit can handle that and you can see like everything runs faster and that's what you want and also you can click on the name to see where they are and you know radar if you, if you wanna see if uh, there's another one approaching they are two approaching so these guys are uh, taxiing over here let's see if these guys are landing correctly where they supposed to they should be landing somewhere around here all right yep so pretty much you know leave it run for uh, 10 15 minutes on a speed uh, see how everything you know runs make sure they don't get stuck if you see aircraft uh, coming in and they keep uh, going around and they don't land I mean it's something wrong with the runway over there 
just go back into the uh, editor and uh, see how things are, are going try to fix things pretty much everything looks good uh, what I will do I will uh, park at the gate create a you know random flight uh, you don't have to fly just just to see how it takes you what kind of the uh, taxiway it gives you all right so it seems like everything it's working fine here um, I'm gonna uh, stop it for now as you notice we didn't have the uh, follow me car follow me car uh, option now you do have it uh, you don't have the icon but you do have the follow me car now I'll show you how, what you need to do to uh, for that follow me car uh, icon to appear so for that we're gonna exit so we're gonna go to the main folder explain 11 resources I'm gonna go to plugins I'm gonna go to X life then we're gonna go to airport and now we're gonna search for MDPC like airport that I well now I'm searching in my case MDPC uh, Punta Cana International Airport it should be a file over there with the same ICO uh, name so we're gonna scroll down to we pass it so MDPC and there it is right here there's an XLF file so what we need to do is just copy don't delete don't drag it from here you just cat copy we're gonna go back to plugins we're gonna go to FM which is follow me car airport and we're just gonna paste it over here now if we go back into explain so now the follow me car map uh, icon it's there now you can uh, so we made a picture of that uh, inside when we are inside the uh, editor but you can also make a picture of uh, of this what I will do I will uh, just change the time just make it dark all right so now with the snipping tool like this I have a background a, a black black background I'm gonna select this and then I'm just gonna go on save as on the desktop and I'm gonna enter the same MD PC uh, I already have one so I'm just gonna name it one JPEG save so now we have this one too now once you make sure that everything runs good and everything it's uh, you know set then we're gonna come back and then we're gonna go to this website which is jar design group board um, if you're not a member you can register if you are I'm gonna go ahead and log in you go to X life custom ATC route and then you are just gonna add post new topic now here it's gonna let you upload the pictures I'm gonna select this to now here it is important that you add let's go back to the scenery here and then we're gonna add M D P C I'm gonna go back to this page and then we're gonna enter this address I'm gonna copy that enter here and then you know just put the information so this is the link for the airport so everybody knows which airport you design the traffic for and then choose a file when you choose a file obviously you're gonna go to your explain 
uh, resources, plugins, XLife, airports, and then you search, in my case, Punta Cana MDPC, MDPC, and then you're just going to select the XLF file, and then you just upload to this website, and then here you got to do this thing here, uh, and then you just click upload and submit and then you know your aircraft I mean your airport will be on the list and this is where you post it and I don't know how long it's gonna take but you know once in a while they come here and then they take all this information and, and put it on in the server and then hopefully your aircraft I mean your airport will be shown over here on the map and that will be all for this video I hope you guys enjoyed and got all the information that you were looking for and till next time happy flying